Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Thursday morning, 9.31 a.m. and I am going to try to make some kind of breakfast. I don't know what I want though. I will say this, in the past couple of weeks, I have not been a good boy about eating properly. Not totally my fault, but every time I went to Trader Joe's, they didn't have the stuff that sort of became the staple of my diet. And that's some kind of cabbage-based salad, if you will. And I would just pull out a handful and eat that with pretty much any meal that I was having. And I haven't had a lot of vegetables. I haven't had a lot of fruit. I've been trying to barrel my way through the freaking two bags of pears that we have. Those are almost gone. I've been eating some apples, but I haven't been eating enough fiber and drinking enough plain water and I'm starting to feel the effects of that. So before it gets out of control and I'm laying on the bathroom floor all freaking night or going to the hospital, I need to fix that. So today we are definitely going grocery shopping and getting a bunch of stuff. That's kind of what the plan is today. I'm gonna to do some day job stuff, which I've already been doing, but I'm gonna eat breakfast and then I think I'm gonna head right out and maybe avoid the crowds since I'm going early in the morning on a random Thursday instead of going Sunday afternoon, you know, the stupidest time in the world to go. Let's make breakfast. And now the fun part, the dishes. Because we all love doing dishes. Okay, now we need to get dressed and go grocery shopping. Yippee! Okay, we're almost ready to go. One more thing. Obligatory kitty under a tray. He saw my watch reflection and bolted after it, so I realized that now's a perfect sunspot time. So, kitty in a sunspot. All right, let's go do some grocery shopping. Uh, okay, that was actually a, an expensive trip to the grocery store, but shit happens when you don't go often enough. Yeah, I know I go every day, but the point being is that we needed a lot of stuff, and this time they were fully stocked on everything, and then some, so I got a shit ton of groceries. It is really warm in here. So we're gonna put the windows down, which means I'm gonna just stop recording. All right, we're done with the grocery shopping. Now on to funner things, right? I mentioned this to Yankee Cowboy that what the specs said on these Polar Pro Helix Maglocks were that there was no vignetting guaranteed down to 17 millimeters. But some people said, I'm using it on my 16 to 35 and I'm not getting any vignetting. Oh, that was the actual house, not the sky. And I have it at 16 millimeters, and I've got it on. I've got the filter on. No vignetting. Good on you, Polar Pro. I just had lunch. The queen just went back to work. It's 1.56. I am going to now go to three ships for afternoon bean. No surprise, don't feel like doing day job shit right now. And I'm just going to go hang out and have some bean and not be in my home office. Let's go get that bean. There you see it, the ever-present cranes as they're building that water park and whatever the hell else is going in there. I don't give a shit about that. That's what I'm looking for right there. Your shit in your eye. And it's hot as balls in here. Wah. But now those chicks left, so I'm gonna get my spot back. More shit, uh, this one, it, it, a little bit closer. You can see the, the color gradation. This is not cherry, this is uh, strawberry. So this is a an iced strawberry matcha with almond milk. And since it's February officially now, they've reintroduced strawberry back in just to give the sweet potato a break. And I don't like sweet potato, I won't drink it. So I'm pretty stoked about the strawberry and the cherry that they have as well. The cherry is incredibly subtle and that's pretty cool. So anyways, here's all the shit in your eye. Okay, her bean gotten. 
We are going to go do that delivery thing, and then Dumb Monkey needs to go to the damn gas station to get gas because I am below a quarter of a tank, and I just need to get it. So let's go do all that. Okay, Dumb Monkey remembered. I'm at the gas station. I'm going to go pump that gas now. All right, kids, another relatively unexciting day. I didn't have anywhere to go. I didn't have anything to do other than grocery shopping. Then I got home and I realized I've got to do something about my day job stuff. And I thought, okay, I'll do the expense report. And then I looked, because I had put a newer receipt on top of the older receipts, I thought I had a couple of weeks before I ran over 30 days. Turns out I basically have to turn in that freaking expense report today. Dumb monkey. The receipt started on 1-3. So basically, yeah, I had to get everything done today and turn it in so that it, it gets into the system before. I mean, I have until the end of the week, you know? I mean, if you want to get technical about it, but I didn't realize that I had, had extended it out that far. I've been sitting here doing this expense report, and let me tell you, I had nothing but problems. I was trying to take pictures of the receipts. We have to turn things in, and they have to be itemized. Every food receipt that you get, it has to list what you ordered. I think that's their way of combating people buying, like, alcohol because they won't pay for alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. I don't give a shit. So it's a pain in the ass for me because if you go into a fast food place or some of the places that you go into, they give you the credit card receipt, but it doesn't itemize everything out. So you have to then submit a lost receipt form and all this bullshit, but you can't do that until you get pictures of the receipts and list it as an expense. Then you have to say, go through manage expenses, lost receipt form, and then it pulls the form up. And then you have to be able to say, it's this expense that you don't have the receipt for, which irks me because I have a freaking receipt. They just won't accept it. Just, you know, the annoyances of being in a big company. So I went through and I started doing it and I had a receipt for a Texas roadhouse and I kept looking at it and it kept showing it in British pounds. And I'm like, why the hell is it putting it in British pounds? So it had created an entire separate personal expense rather than the corporate card expense. And I'm like, okay, but it wouldn't let me transfer the receipt over. So I had all these fucking problems. It should have taken me like 15 minutes to do that expense report. I worked on it for an hour and a half. I just submitted it. The bottom line though, I did the damn expense report, turned it in. I always text my boss to let him know that, that I put an expense report in. And then he just goes onto his phone and approves it right away and doesn't even look at it. Uh, okay, you get, see, see what I'm saying? See how frustrating it is? I freaking hate doing expense reports. It's stupid. You know, I keep saying it, especially the past few videos, that, that you know, life isn't always exciting. There's no point in me blathering on any more than I just did. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.